about to share the tea with you. Which, speaking of drink, <laughs> I know I said tea and this is coffee, but I got an apple crisp macchiato. That's the new like fall flavor on top of pumpkin spice. I love me some pumpkin spice, but I only really like it warm, and right now it's not warm coffee weather. As a matter of fact, it's pretty warm today. Like it's, I'm actually like really overheated. Mike and I just got back from grocery shopping. Glad we did that. But here's the story I need to share. You might realize that the quality of this video is not as good as it usually is. Well, I lost my phone. Yeah, I lost my phone. And as we all know these days, we are all so dependent on our phones, it's sick. So everything, all my passwords, which is dumb by the way, big life tip, write your passwords down in like a booklet somewhere, which I was actually planning to do, but I, I was I just never got around to it, right? <laughs> well, a lot of my passwords I can't seem to remember. <laughs> and for the place for, for things that I need to go to, there are some things that I remember. I thought it was funny though. I have to share the side story real quick. <laughs> I couldn't remember my Apple ID password because I was trying to get onto it through Mike's iPad and everything to see if we could. I wanted to see if my, my stuff was still saved and everything, and I hope it is, <laughs> but I couldn't remember it, so we went through a whole headache this morning trying to figure that out. It was very stressful and upsetting, and then it just kept leading us back to, oh, sorry, you basically need to get your verification code from the phone number that you say is missing. Like, let me explain more, more elaborately. I have so much to talk about, I'm sorry. <laughs> but. So, yeah, trying to I was trying to like log into my Apple ID and I tried to reset my password. I tried several processes because it was like, oh, here, try to log in from a different iOS device and do all these steps. Every single thing I did, no matter what it was, led me back to like they had to ask for my phone number to verify, right? But they sent the code. And then there was even the option that says, can't access my iPhone. I clicked it. It still asks for the verification code that they sent to my iPhone. I'm like, Apple, come on. <laughs> Anyways, I digress from that story. But yeah, so after work yesterday, I lost my phone. I had it in my hand. I was talking to one of my coworkers. I made a note in my phone. I put it back in my bag. I walked out the back area, the back door to the side parking lot. And I'm guessing it fell out of my bag pocket and I didn't hear it because I put all my bags in the car, Mike and I went home, I talked all about my day, it was kind of a long day, it was, we just had the new Shang-Chi Marvel movie come out, which is a hit, which is wonderful for business, but it's very busy on the weekends, especially after kids went to school. <laughs> but it's great for business, and I'm happy that the movie's doing so well. But, I had such a long day, I was just talking about it the whole time. I didn't even think to look at my phone until we got home, and, I couldn't find it. I looked everywhere. I looked in every bag. I looked in like the garbage can in case it fell into my garbage can. I looked everywhere. And so we drove back to my work. I looked in the parking lot where I think it might have dropped. There was a bunch of cars where my Mike had parked before. So, but I looked under to see if there was any sign of a crushed phone. I didn't see any, but they also, you know, the cars were there and I wasn't gonna sit there and like crawl under a car and look like a creeper. I went into my theater and I asked my coworkers if anyone dropped off the phone, like, and then I looked at the path that I took to leave. I went, I checked the bathroom, I checked upstairs, I ch checked everywhere. <laughs> that I, even though I knew I had my phone before I left right but I wanted to make sure because you never know so no luck there so we went home we had to call T-Mobile and suspend my line and lock my phone because Mike tried calling it my phone was on silent of course um, the first time when we were first at home right then after we came back from checking the theater again we he tried calling again it went straight to voicemail and I know my phone didn't die because I had fully charged it that morning so someone turned it off which can be a really sketchy thing because if it was a if it was put to given to a customer service whether it was the mall or it was the theater whatever 
like, they wouldn't have turned it off because they would expect someone to call. But if they have other intentions like reselling a phone or something of that nature, they would turn it off so it couldn't get tracked. I didn't have to track my iPhone, but also we called our company, the T-Mobile company, and they tried to see if they could track it, and they couldn't because it was off. So yay. <laughs> So that was fun. So I lost all my vlog footage from the weekend, which was when Salika and I went on the river. I do not know if I will ever get it back, so I'm sorry about that. These things happen though. But I was thinking of doing a little unboxing just for a little something extra to throw in here. I got this from Hot Topic to match something. I actually wanted a different shirt, but they were out of it, which was sad. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> So you remember how I said that I'm also, although I love Sparkles and Jojo and all, all things fabulous and sparkly, I also love horror movies and fall's coming around and Halloween's coming around so I'm getting all festive and really, I really kind of wanted a fun outfit that is in like the horror movie theme so I got a Freddy Krueger shirt, so exciting ready or not here I come <laughs> and a little bit ago I forgot if I showed you guys this if I unboxed it or not I might have I got this really cool um, suspender skirt that is also themed with Nightmare on Elm Street so now I have a really fun horror movie themed outfit for the lovely season of autumn <laughs> uh, Anyways, I wanted to share that. Thank you guys for watching this. I know it's not that exciting, but I appreciate if you stayed here till the end. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you soon, but I might have to use the iPad for a little bit before I either get my phone replaced or it somehow turns up, which I doubt. Good news, guys. And you might be able to tell by the fact that these clips are slightly higher quality than the last ones you might have seen. <laughs> but I got my phone back! Yay! <laughs> it was just today when I made the vlog talking about having lost my phone yesterday, like, after work. And I was freaking out all day today trying to figure out certain things and Mike received a call around 5 30 p.m. from a T-Mobile store and they said they had my phone I'm like oh my god we'll be right over so we drove over there and it was like it was a T-Mobile store that was a different area a little further away um from where we live but still kind of in our general area and so we went over there and we got my phone and unsuspended it and now we're all good to go so <sighs> Phew. <sighs> I cannot tell you how relieved I was when I saw my phone. When I saw this precious phone, like I actually started tearing up because I was so scared that it was just gone. So, yeah, that, that, was, that was such a relief and I got so blessed and lucky with that one. Apparently a gentleman had found it in the parking lot where it dropped out of my bag. And he brought it to this specific T-Mobile because he trusted this T-Mobile more than the one that was closer to my work. So he actually found it, took it to this T-Mobile store because he liked the store better and knew that it would get back to me. So bless, bless this man's heart, <laughs> whoever he may be. Um, thank you for restoring my faith in humanity. I sound so bad. I was so scared that someone just took it and like, was gonna try to sell it or something because there's just you know these things happen <laughs> so, ah, I'm so, happy. I'm so happy and where we went they had a kfc so we don't get kfc's super often because it's not really close to where we live but so we have some leftover kfc here and they gave us a cake i don't know we didn't even order it but they just gave it to us <laughs> i'm like okay We'll take it. We'll eat it in a little bit. Apparently it's a chocolate chip and lemon frosting cake, which Mike says is like one of the best types of cake ever. So I'm excited.
before we go, I want to make sure I actually show you the outfit all together. So here's the suspender skirt. Kind of love this look, not gonna lie. I'm so ready for Halloween. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.